So one of the questions I get asked relatively frequently is, Dion, should I do a PhD? Should I engage in doctoral research? And this is quite a common question, particularly for persons who've just completed uh, some graduate work, perhaps a master's degree, and they're looking to take their research to the next level. And of course, the answer to that question is relatively subjective. Of course, there are some objective factors. I'll speak about those in a moment. But the main question that I would ask is why would you want to do a PhD? Now let me first say anecdotally, uh, I, I've done two doctoral degrees and I can tell you they consume uh, the whole of your life. Uh, they take over for a period of three or four years, uh, for some people even longer, uh, every moment of your waking life and sometimes even your dreams. Uh, you're constantly thinking that you should be reading or writing. Uh, if you're doing empirical work, that you should be engaged in your field work, working with your data, uh, analyzing it, uh, writing it up. And so you tend to live with a sword of Damocles over your head, knowing that you, you need to produce something. And particularly in those early stages, we'll talk in some of the other videos about how you prepare a research proposal and how you work on your dissertation, uh, gather your data. We'll do that separately. But you tend to be taken up uh, with this project. And so anecdotally, I certainly would say uh, you need to be really committed if you're wanting to do doctoral work because it will take over your life. You need to have buy-in from your family and uh, that's an important thing. But the real question is why? Why would you want to give so much of your time and energy over to uh, doing this kind of research? And my sense has always been when I've worked with students and I've had the privilege of, of supervising many students over the years, that the thing that keeps you working and that helps you to do good work in your doctoral studies is having an insatiable curiosity, a great sense of curiosity at wanting to discover something, at wanting to research something, at wanting to spend your, your time reading, uh, thinking, speaking to others, uh, engaging in the work of curating and developing new knowledge. And of course, that is what separates a doctoral project from a master's degree. Uh, normally, the degree of doctor is awarded when you make a novel contribution to an academic field of study. In other words, you take the academic discourse a step further. You're able to contribute something that, um, that develops thinking in new ways. And that's a lot of hard work. I mean, often it requires surveying first to discover what is available in a field, uh, working out the quality of what is available, uh, where are people working and constructively engaging and where are some of the critiques or the failings in a particular area and then figuring out uh, how you can add your little bit there. So to answer the question, should you do doctoral work? Um, I would say uh, think about it very, very carefully. Um, it's not something to be done easily or lightly. Uh, in some contexts, uh, doctoral positions hold contracts, and so that's also important to keep in mind. If you're being paid to do certain work, there might be a not only a contractual obligation, but also a moral responsibility. If you're doing the work and uh, you're getting funding for it, it means that someone else who could have been doing the work uh, might not be doing it. So, so in that sense, uh, the competitiveness of entering doctoral programs is a, a relatively important thing. If you compete and win the contract, uh, that might be quite helpful. But right at the very uh, beginning, I would encourage you to think about the question, why do you want to do it? The worst reason to do doctoral work is to get the title of doctor. Um, I often say to my students, uh, the most worthy I ever was of the title of doctor was on the day in which I put the final full stop on my doctoral dissertation. Uh, that was the day in which I knew the most about that subject and in which my work was the most progressive. It had its greatest contribution. But uh, please don't do it just for a title. Do it because you feel that you have a great commitment, a great hunger uh, for knowledge and a desire to study. So I'm gonna make a few more videos about engaging in doctoral research. We'll talk a little bit about developing a research proposal, mainly for my students at the University of Stellenbosch, and then also one or two tips about research and writing, and we'll even get to the defense. So come back to this channel. Uh, the videos will come out uh, from time to time. I'm in beautiful Gothenburg at the moment, not in Stellenbosch, my home university. I'm here on research leave 
working on my new book. So uh, please connect with me, leave your comments in the show notes below here on uh, YouTube or on uh, Facebook, Dion A. Foster, or on my website, dionfoster.com, or you can connect with me on Twitter or Instagram at Digital Dion. And let me know your reasons for either doing a doctorate or wanting to do a doctorate and any ideas that you have for the viewers of this channel. We'll include them in some of the future videos. So thanks for watching. Thank you.